Hello, my name is Father Len McMillan. I'm the pastor of St. Pius Parish here in Coeur d'Alene. And one thing I want for our parish is to become an RSA parish, where we welcome more and more people either to become Catholic or turn back to the Catholic Church. And some people have these amazing stories of uh, why they converted to Catholicism, why they've come back to the church. And I think these stories can inspire really more and more people to be excited about their faith, to want to invite other people into their faith. If you know anybody who is interested in becoming Catholic, please have them call the office. They can join our RCI group and we can fulfill God's command where God says, I want my house full for my feast. So here you go. Uh, my name's Scott Davis. Um, I was uh, born and raised Catholic, um, but uh, I, I fell away in my teens after you know s- things happened with my family, uh, divorce and had a, a death in the family. Um, I, I basically stopped going to church. I became angry with God. And so I stopped, stopped going. Um, in my 20s, I basically considered myself a, an atheist, I would say. I, uh, I mocked religious people um, and, and religion in general. Um, I think it gave me a false sense of superiority. Um, I, but it really left me with like a, a place in me that was pretty empty. Um, And I was that way for a long time. Uh, Eventually, I became a father. And um, my son, when he got older, started asking me spiritual questions. You know, what happens when you die? Things like that. The answers I had for him were pretty bleak. My wife came to me later and she told me, you know, that Luther, my son, talked to her and said that um, the things that I told him made him a little sad and, and even a little scared. And uh, that changed something inside me. It made me really look at the reasons that I left the church. Um, and uh, and it made me wonder if like, that's what I really wanted to pass on to my son. Do I want to pass on bleakness and, and, and bitterness to him? And, and I didn't. I definitely didn't want to do that to him. Um, so I had to admit some things. I had to admit that I was wrong, you know? Um, and I had to admit that I missed being Catholic. I missed God. I missed talking to God. Uh, I missed the community, uh, and the sacraments, you know, I, I missed all of it. And, um, and I realized I'd, I'd let my anger separate myself from this thing, which I would probably been looking for for a long time. And now my, my anger was separating my son from it. And uh, that just was, it just didn't feel right to me. And it, luckily that also let me realize that maybe I wasn't actually atheist this whole time. I was just a- angry and bitter, you know? I thought I was doing everything on my own. What I didn't realize was until later, and I'm grateful for it, God was with me the whole time. Whether I wanted it or not, whether I admitted it or not, um, he was with me and and he helped me, uh, I, I'm hoping, make things right, especially with my son. We've always been close. And and when I started to come back to the church, you know, I was, I started by going to Mass. That was like thing number one. I went to Mass. Um, and then uh, I went to confession. That was thing number two. And then after confession, I, I received... Holy Communion for the first time in a long time and that was that was really good so I started to go to RCIA and uh, because I had forgotten a lot in the years since Catholic school and I wanted to be better equipped to answer my son's questions honestly and and with with hope you know with truth and uh, and my education was lacking I'd forgotten a lot a lot of things I purposely tried to not think And a beautiful thing started to happen. He just wanted to start coming with me to mass. He, he saw what I was doing. He asked about it a few times. I didn't push him, but he asked to start coming with me and he wanted to come with me and he wanted to 
see what was going on. So we started going to mass. And then he started going to uh, the adult RCIA with me. And he decides, you know, it's no longer just learning. He wants to become Catholic. He wants to be Catholic himself. And, and with the support of, you know, our friends, family, and, and community here, he, he did become Catholic on the Easter Vigil. I'm just so appreciative to God for letting all this work out, you know. I strayed so far for so long, and, and it's working out. You know, I was, I was Catholic because I was born that way, but now I'm Catholic because, you know, it's, um, I've, I've learned more about it. I've, I've realized things, you know, it's, it's the church that, that Jesus built, you know. Um, I'm here for that. I'm here for the community, the sacraments. Um, it's brought my son and I closer together. We were always close. We have always loved each other and got along well, but this has really brought us a lot closer together. And, uh, and it's also brought him and I closer to God, you know, which is the, the goal, you know, to, to be closer to God. And, uh, and I'm just, I'm just grateful for RCIA. It, uh, I think the most powerful thing is God's forgiveness. For a long time, I, you know, when I was angry at him, you know, I didn't care about that, you know. And then when I came back to the church, I was worried that I had done too much, you know, separating myself from God. But confession uh, is just, it's so freeing it lifts these burdens from you um and i've i've talked to some great priests since i've been back and all of them have just gone out of their way to let me know that i've been for forgiven for for my sins you know and and that you know it's repentance that's important making an effort is important and um yeah, and I also find the community wonderful. Um, my son and I have met wonderful people here, people that we hang out with outside of the church now. So yeah, I would say that confession is was very powerful for me um, and really helped me. I, I think God probably forgave me before I forgave myself, you know? So confession, absolution, uh, I, I I wanted nothing more than that, but I it was it was almost harder for me to forgive myself I think than for God to forgive me. So I think that's something important to remember for people who, that maybe want to come back themselves. You know, um, you're probably going to be harder on yourself than than God's going to be. 